Hi, so um, let's check this little problem with Python and I want to see where it is. Let me go and see where I put my images. And so if you, for example, you have many, many images like this one, um, where you go, you go from Diapositiva 1 to Diapositiva 24. What happens if you if you want to make something like uh, make an animated GIF, for example, using some of, of the scripts that I made to animate GIF? Uh, you should have a problem. I will tell you why. Let me open the command line. We won't see how to animate this because I made another post for this. I will put the link into my post. Okay, let's go into Python and let's see what happens if you wanna grab these images into a a list. So let's import glob and let's put the list into um, the name L E image that means list of images so we're gonna do images for images in glob dot glob into parentheses as you know we will put into apostrophes the asterisk that means every kind of name and even every kind of file but to choose just the PNG we get to we put after any name dot PNG so it will take all the PNGs in the directory and because you see there is also this file here if we don't put dot PNG here you see that we will we will have everything into this list included the, the .py file as you can see here instead we want to just have the one that ends with .png so we'll write asterisk and png okay if we go like this you will see that we have just png now what is the problem here we could um, use a, a loop to to make an animated gif with with uh, module peel for example let's go and check out my um, many posts that I made made about making a gif with more images uh, maybe we'll do another one uh, fresh new soon and so what is the problem here you see that we have diapositiva uno one and then diapositiva 10 11 so we don't have diapositiva 2 as second image and so we could change the name of this uh, I used to put a 0 before this number here so that it goes in the right way but I thought to another another way to do it and you see also that well, um, the diapositiva 2 is here not after the first one but after the 19 one and then there is the 20 after 2 there is 20 because these are you see these are treated as strings so it doesn't follow the order of this number because this number is recognized as a string not as a number so the computer thinks that after the 2 there is a 2 0 the 2 1 okay and so how can we solve this problem and I thought to this uh, we're gonna check the length of this string the first one and let's call it ln equal len of lemg of this array at this list let's check the first one 
because the first one is this one and from uh, the one the first to the ninth they will have the the same length in fact they will be 16 instead if I try if I search for the second one let me call it land to land l e m g one that is the second element that is this one you will see that l n two is seventeen so is one plus because it has this this uh, second digit here second figure so uh, we can use this to to order these uh, these numbers, these, um, these these strings, list of strings. So what can we can do? We can make um, out of this this L image. We can make L image two equal e for e in in the previous e L E M G but only if e if len of e so the len of this string is equal to l n l n so now doing so we have l e m g 2 Okay, I I call it make instead of image. Okay, let me do it again. L E M G two will have all the the first nine um, nine slides name. Okay, nine uh, PNG name, right? So now we are going to do another list. LEMG3 that will uh, have this plus one. Okay, we will put here all the all this string that has R long, just like the first plus one digit. So will be like this: 10, 11, etc. So let's go and let's see what we got in in this one. And I must change again this one. Okay. And here it is. We got 10, 11, 12, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So now we just have to mix them. <coughs> And let's do let l image equal l image two plus l e m g three. And now let's l image. There is you know the positive one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, nineteen, twelve, until twenty four, and it is in the right order. So with this little trick, let's say so, we have all our mm, images in order. So we can make uh, a loop uh, with this that can make us do many things like animation, renaming, whatever. And, uh, and so we don't have a strange animation because uh, they will be in the right order and you see every every kind of loop will follow the the right step as you can see for example in Pygame if we want to uh, create an, a sprite, an animated sprite without having to um, write 
one line for each um, each frame that you want to load as an image of the animation you can just create a for loop like uh, if you remember we did it in another post image uh, pygame dot uh, load an image for image in list image so with this you will have it in the right order and instead if you don't do this uh, this thing that I, we did here we will have um, an animation that is not right and mm, that will uh, look strange because of this of these facts so now uh, we now that we ordered this we get our list in the correct order and we can do anything presentation anything you 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 like to you could you could do almost anything for e in our image You could do from from peel import image, right? And you then you can do for e in e, uh, image. You could load the image, for example, with image dot load, or maybe it was image dot open. it will open all the images in in a sequence as you can see a quick and we can use other simple code to make a gif out of this now I simply opened all the images one after another with the default image browser and so this is just how to how to fix this into um, an ordered list without having problem if we have more than uh, more than 100 um, images go after 90 99 you can easily manage this because otherwise uh, the 100 uh, 100 um, image will go after after one or after 10 maybe so you will have to create another list with a plus one uh, um, condition of the length of the string so that it goes in a third uh, in a third list and then you will have to concatenate this three list you can do also a loop that checks for every kind of length of the name so that you will always be able to make them in the right order for any kind uh, of number or files contained in the in the list that's all